Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Kelly's Little Ones Nursery. I'm Kelly. Today is July... Is it? Oh, Sunday, July 20... Dang it, phone. Today is Sunday, July 28th, 2000... Or 2024. And... We are going to do Reborn Bible Time with, we're going to continue reading out of this book here, uh, the, Rhy the Rhyme Bible Storybook. And we are going to continue with the story of Elijah and the Prophets. So if you like this kind of content, don't forget. Feel free to subscribe and become part of Kelly's Little Ones Nursery More, where we do devotionals, we read Bible time, and I talk about my labs and stuff. So, if you like that kind of content, feel free to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Kelly's Little Ones Nursery and More. And Subscribe as I have more people that don't watch my that watch my channel that don't, aren't subscribed yet. So subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a thumbs up, and I hope you make it to the end. Let's get started, guys. What was who's ready for today's Bible story? Okay. This is called Elijah and the Prophets. Elijah, the prophet, went to see the king. He went with a message God wanted him to bring. There won't be any rain and there won't be any, any dew, for you worship idols and your wife does too. Oh, here's the, here's the page looks like. Guys, here's what the page looks like. Can everybody see? Yeah. Okay. Continue. Oh, and before we continue on, there is a verse up at the top of this page, and it's First Kings. Chapter 16, verse 18. I'll remember that, guys. God sent Elijah to live by a book. There wasn't any food, but he didn't have a look. For God sent ravens with some bread and meat. So he drank from the brook, and he had enough to eat. Go to you guys. And babies, the toddlers, that. Three years passed, and, Eli and the land was very dry. Elijah met the king on a mountain nearby. He said to the king, Now here's what we'll do. It's time to find out which God is true. The prophets, the prophets of all, danced all around. They prayed to their God, but he didn't make a sound. Elijah joked, could your God be asleep? 
So they shouted even louder, but they didn't hear a peep. I'm just going to put this to the thing. Can you see that? Elijah stepped forward, and after he prayed, fire, fire fell from heaven to the altar he had made. It burned up the altar, the stones, and the sod. So the people all shouted, Lord, he is God! Elijah prayed for rain with his face to the ground. At first, there were no clouds, and he didn't hear sound. But then the sky grew black, and the wind began to blow, and down came the rain to the thirsty land below. All right, guys, I'll show it to you. And that was the end of that, Elijah and the Prophets. Next up is Jonah goes to Nivea. Yeah. Next up will be, next story will be Jonah Goes to Nivea. So that was it for Reborn Bible Time. I hope you tune in next time. I'm not going to say I'm going to do it next week because every time I say that, it I always fall short. But on to that, um, we're going to end with a verse of the day. Is that okay with you guys? Okay. Let me pull it up here. My phone went to sleep. Pull it up here. And today's verse of the day comes comes to comes comes from Matthew chapter seven verses twenty eight and twenty nine. When Jesus had finished saying, saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching because he taught as one who had authority, not as their teachers of law. Next, add to that, we're going to, I'm going to read to you guys thoughts on this verse. And it's a little bit longer. Then we'll pray. Then it, then we'll pray at the end. Okay. Unlike the teachers of his day, Jesus didn't have to store store up his teachings with obscure quotes from the past teachers and well-known rabbis. Jesus the very Jesus, the very word of God. John chapter 1, verse 1 through 8. Spoke the, spoke the words of God. He, he did and said what the Father willed. His life and his words had the ring of authority. The Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John went back to spark an awareness in us of Jesus' power and authority so that through the ages they still invite us to embrace his truth and follow him as our Lord. This 
Jesus, our teacher and savior, is so much more than another great teacher, extraordinary prophet, or wise sage. His words are powerful. His words are his words his, or his teachings are authoritative. His life is breathtaking. His love is beyond compare. So, dear friend of Jesus, his will must be your passion. Guys, think of that. Good? So, if you guys all, and if you guys all made it to the end, well, I read my prayer, I would like you to bow your heads and pray with me. Holy God, thank you for speaking through your prophets and the holy scriptures. But dear Father, I praise you for speaking your most complete and perfect message. Jesus, as I see the character of his life, I am drawn to you as I hear the authenticity of his satisfactual life. I seek to obey him and follow him as his disciple. Thank you for sending Jesus to be my teacher, my guide, my Lord, and my Savior. I pray this in his name, Jesus, the Messiah and Son of God. Amen. Okay, so that was Reborn Bible Time from this and verse of the day, as well as thoughts on the verse from today's verse of the day as well as a prayer so like i said earlier if you like this content feel free to subscribe i'd love for you guys to become part of kelly's little ones nursery more and to see my reborn videos um so this was a lot of fun i gotta do more videos because my views and watch time hours are boom, pointing down, and I've got to get them back up. So, um, if I don't do another video today, I will be doing a Disney Monday video tomorrow with Haley and Liam. As you can see, if, if you can't tell what they're wearing. Um, look forward to that tomorrow, and thank you guys so much for watching, and yeah, remember, be blessed, your blessing.